you managed to do that. What? Make the headline look like your father's award and your protest have something to do with each other? They happen a month apart. Maybe they do. They do what? Have something to do with each other. Spare me the psychobabble, Rowena Sullivan. Hello. Oi. Morning. Morning. She at Crayford? Yeah. Seattle 52. How long are you under? Long enough. Found her in Sicily and sailed her back in 86. Well, that's a big restoration job. Yeah. So what are you selling her for? I'm not. Well, it says here you are. This is a mistake. <laughs> She's not for sale. Oh, yes, she is. I'm Ashley Noonan. I'm now the owner of the Amy Rose. And as the owner, I am entitled to sell her. What does it take to fucking satisfy you? You've got everything else. The Amy Rose was always mine. Not anymore, according to the courts. Look, if you need to, uh... No, 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 it's fine. It's all right. The hell it's all right. Get lost. Listen, let, let's go up to the bar for a drink while I have Marina's security throw this loser off my boat. Okay. You had orders from the court to leave. Pack your bags, get off my boat, then burn in hell, you loser piece of trash. Ashley! I'm warning you, don't do this. Last night, I seriously thought about killing him. No, oh, Irene. This has been going on for too long. Oh, Irene. We can do something, but... Honey, you have to file a complaint. I, I just wanted to stop. I know. He's hurting the kids, too. <laughs> Have you ever been hit? I mean, hit really bad. No. <laughs> I swear, one day I will. I'll kill him. You know that violence won't solve your problems, Irene. But the police can't help you unless you sign this complaint. If I sign it, will it go to jail? Yes. What would you like to do, Irene? Thank you, Mr. French. Oh, Jennifer, before you go, has the junior litigator position been filled yet? Uh, just still sorting through the applications. I may have one more for you. I'll let you know. Thank you, Mr. French. Aspicio Lulusis. She says she thought about killing him. Don't they all? I think she might mean it. Uh, not that one. I know the type. 
What do you mean the tithe? The tithe that just keeps taking it. You see, somewhere in the back of her mind, she thinks it's all temporary, that one day he'll just stop. Well, that happens. <laughs> Not that bastard. If it was me, I'd shoot him. Well... Oh, come on, Toby. You can't tell me that you wouldn't do what you needed to do if your own life was threatened. No, I... Uh, in the end, death, survival. Death, survival. Irene knows that if he goes to jail, he'll only eventually get out, come looking for her, and he might just kill her and the kids. Survival. So when do I start feeling like I'm actually making a difference? Sometimes they just need to talk. We just need to listen. I don't know if I can ever get used to this. No, oh, trust me, you don't. You just learn to pick your fonts. <laughs> Women's legal support, Toby French, can I help you? I was hoping you could join me for lunch today at Jean Pierre's. Do I have to bring a whip and a chair? <laughs> All right. I may have been a little forceful when I expressed my opinion last time. I promise to endeavor to be more civil from now on. There's something that I need to discuss with you. Uh, all right. But I have to get back for a court appearance at 4. 1.30, then. All right. I'll see you then. He wants to have lunch. Hmm. You think he's dying or something? Not unless someone's driven a stake through his heart. Assuming he has one, of course. A sea of calm. <sighs> sea of calm. Sorry, I'm late. Phone call. More wine, sir? Ah, uh, no, thank you. You know, I, I don't like red wine. It's one of the best. Right. But that doesn't make me like it any better. Besides, I'm doing court in a couple hours. Figure we stand a better chance if I'm sober. I've ordered for us. The fish is magnificent here. thinking of getting another vote. Valiant Cutter. What is she, 40 feet? 41.11. But who's counting, right? A good cruiser. But I hear they're pretty quick, too. There's a new class for them, racing Thursday nights. And you think you're up for her, old man? Well, you can take the sailor out of the sea. But you can't take the sea out of the sailor. Yeah, I was wondering when you were going to regret selling the Cicero. I couldn't bear to look at her after. Cicero gave good service, but she needed a lot of work. I wouldn't be the same. Sailing without Mom. 
God, it's hard to believe that it'll be two years on Thanksgiving. Yes. To mom. To Helen. I hope you're not still beating yourself up over not being there that day. Come on, Dad, you were with a client. Your phone was off. None of us expected her to pass away so suddenly. Sam! Ugh. It's over! It's over! I want you out of my life. Forever. I was going to say that a junior litigator position has opened up at the firm. Mm. Well, I don't think I can help you with any recommendations. I wasn't asking for recommendations. I'm offering the position to you. And why would you do that? Well, with a little mentoring. Oh, come on, Toby. I think that you could make an excellent litigator. So that's what this was all about. The boat thing, the little walk down memory lane, it was all just part of your elaborate plan that just freaked me up. Jesus, Dad. How many times do we have to go through this before it sinks in that I am not a piece of clay to be molded in your image? You were the top graduate in your class, Toby. Don't waste your talents on a hole-in-the-wall legal practice. Are you saying that protecting women from their violent husbands is a waste of time? Is that what you're saying? No, of course not. I'm telling you to leave it to some other bleeding heart to do. You deserve better, Toby, and all I have ever, ever wanted is the very best for you. Yes, it's all you ever want. It's not how I do things, okay? I'd like to earn it. It's who you know. That's how you get ahead. Is it so wrong for me to want you to excel? Oh, wow. You just don't get it. It's always been about what you want from me. For 20 years, Dad. It's been about what you want from me. You want me right under your nose, how you can see me. Pulling my strings, making me dance, whatever the hell it suits you, that's all you want. Toby! Toby! Women's Legal Services, Toby French speaking. Can I help you? I hope so. Okay, uh, what can I do for you? It's about my daughter. <laughs> French! <laughs> nice result on Silver Corp. You're the talk of the town. Gentlemen, <laughs> a few sleepless nights, but we made them sweat. <laughs> Classic Italian. Courtesy of litigation or divorce. Makes no difference. He's buying. <laughs> well, I didn't even get a chance to try the fish. But listen, I got a call from a new client, Mr. Sam Noonan. Apparently his daughter's being stalked by her ex-boyfriend, so um, I am going to meet up with the two of them at uh, the marina before I head back. Mm, and I think I'm here. I'll talk to you in a bit. Hello? Hello? 
Mr. Noonan? Miss French. Please, call me Toby. Sure. Uh, daughter will be here soon. Eric's might see her going to your office, so I uh, thought it best to meet here. No worries. I was just down the road, so. Come aboard. Come on down. She'll be here soon. Um. Yeah, you know, I really don't have much time. I'm. Coffee or tea? Watch your head. that you might get hit by a stray bullet? Well, you know, I guess something's got to get you eventually. Huh. Oh. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Is that a real artifact? Shot a Viking festival in Norway a couple of years ago. It was a gift I collect. How did you manage to get into the country? Don't sweat it, counselor. It's legal. Do you, uh, would you like to see the paperwork no. or? No, please, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to imply anything. Sorry, what, what did you say your, uh, your daughter's name is? Amy. Right. Amy. Uh, well, what time do you expect her? Because, like I said, I, uh, I'm, I'm due in court soon. And, uh, I should really make my way there. Okay? So, um, why don't we just get started now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we get started? You know, I was, uh, I was thinking the same thing myself. Hey! <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Mr. Newton! Mr. Newton! Mr. 
Obvious where she gets her good looks from. She sure hasn't got any less smart over the years. She followed her old dad into the law. In fact, we just had lunch. She's seriously considering joining me at the firm. Uh, watch it, French. She'll dethrone you in no time. Won't even need to change the nameplate in the door. <laughs> <laughs> to Frenchies. <laughs> <laughs> Mailbox of Toby French. You can leave a message here or send a text.
but I can't give out Mr. French's mobile number. Would you like to leave a message? No, thank you. Come on up. Did you hear me? I need you up here. Get up here. I said, get up here. Mr. Noonan? Mr. Noonan, what is going on? Mr. Noonan, why am I here? Look, what did I do? Have I represented someone that you know? Your uh, wife, girlfriend? How do you expect me to help if you don't tell me what's wrong? I, I can see that something terrible has happened, right? And nobody's listening to your side of the story, are they? I can make them listen, Sam. I can. I have friends, I, I have contacts throughout the legal profession. They'll listen to me. And they'll listen to you. I'll see to it because I think you're a man that deserves to be heard, Sam. She took everything from me. Who? Oh. Your wife? Ashley. Ashley. Okay. Well, what do you say we see if we can get at least some of that back from Ashley? Huh? Look, Sam, there are loopholes in every contract. And <laughs> In every deal, you just have to look close enough. And I personally happen to know the best divorce attorney in town. He's my father. Marcus French. Maybe you've heard of him? Don't you ever say that name to me again. Okay, okay, I won't, sorry. You gotta help me get the bugs out. They're all over me. Hurry up, get in the water. I read somewhere that they hate seawater. Hurry up, you have to stay in as long as you can. Stay in as long as you can until they die off. Coast Guard Radio, Coast Guard Radio, this is the Amy Rose. The Amy Rose, do you copy? Oh, 
Mayday, Mayday, this is the Amy Rose. The Amy Rose, the Amy Rose. Mayday, Mayday, this is... <laughs> that you got him. <laughs> yeah. Mr. French. Yes. I'm Rowena Sullivan, Toby's colleague at the Women's Legal Support. Oh. Yes, Miss Sullivan. I understand that you had lunch with Toby earlier today. Shall we continue this over there? Hmm? Excuse us, please. You know, you're just like the rest. You can't be trusted. They will miss me, and they will come looking for me. I was supposed to be in court at 4 o'clock today. They, as in Rowena, and the very punctual Judge Hambro, while you were getting your sea legs down below, I let Rowena know you had better things to do. She'll know that something's up. She will come looking for me. That's touching. Except, there'll be nothing left to find. So, what's this all about? I don't wish to allow Mr. French, but Toby didn't come back to the office after she had lunch with you today. Well, maybe she had something to do. She did have something to do. She had court at four, and she never misses a court date. Did you try calling her? <laughs> oh, gosh. That must be why you're at the big end of town. You're so clever at this stuff. Miss Sullivan, I hardly I think that being sarcastic... I received a call from Toby around two o'clock. She said that you'd argued and that she left before she had a chance to eat. We might have had a mild disagreement. Maybe she went away to sulk. <laughs> if you knew anything about your own daughter, Mr. French, you'd know that she's not a sulker. I'm really appreciating your tone. Oh, so. really? Well, maybe you might appreciate that around four o'clock this afternoon, I received a text message from Toby, and just in case you didn't know, this isn't Toby either. Right. Well, I hope she catches something. Listen Did here. Did you mention a new client to you? We do not exchange client lists, Miss Sullivan. That would be unethical. I think you know that. after she left you. Wow. Mystery solved, then. She didn't mention a Sam Noonan to you? No. I can't say that she did. I see. This is my number. If you do hear from Toby, call me immediately. No signaling, and I do all the talk. Ahoy there! Ahoy. Just wondering if we knew where the fish are biting today. We've been out here for hours, not having much luck. We just got married. Oh, congratulations. Do you like it? I know, I said the same thing to John when I started. I said, hell, John, we're gonna need a trailer to haul this baby around. You can try Whaler's Cove, up further. Hey, thanks a lot. I said no signal. I didn't. <laughs> Is this how it's gonna be, huh? Little French. Can I expect this kind of underhanded betrayal from you from now on? Hmm? No. <laughs> I 
the sins of the Father. Two words. Marcus French. What does my father have to do with this? Speaking of daddy, let's see if he's up for a family barbecue, hmm? Mailbox of Toby French. You can leave a message here or send a text. How did you know to come here? I uh, got to thinking about that new client of Toby's that you mentioned. And thought I'd better come and check this Sam Noonan out. Except that I didn't mention the marina. Oh my god, what's happened? That's Toby's briefcase. It's Toby. It's an email from her. Video clip. I have someone here you might recognize. Say hello, little French. Hasn't quite got her sea legs yet, but that's okay because there's hours of fun for the whole family ahead of us. The ocean. Our playground. I like your daughter very much, Father French. But I was wondering if she didn't have a little too much weight around the middle, if you know what I mean. I can see all approaches by sea or air. If anyone who shouldn't be here crashes this little party, then your daughter, regrettably, goes overboard. Don't call us. We'll call you. Who is this psycho? Do you recognize him? He has a locked weight belt on her. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. We're gonna have to call the police. I can handle this. Oh, I see. And did you get that award for your superior skills in handling hostage negotiations? I then? said I'll take care of it. I'm calling the police. No. No, you won't. They'll know what to do. We're endangering her life if we don't call someone who can handle a hostage crisis. You heard him. If you call the police, she will die. How did you know to come here? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I mentioned Sam Noonan's name earlier. You'd get a little twitchy. Next thing I know, you're down here at the marina. What do you know? I know you've probably been watching too many episodes of Law and Order, Miss Sullivan. Yeah, well, I think the police might be a tad more persuasive. All right. I do know him. Well? He 
He's the ex-husband of a client. Divorce? Yes. And would it be fair to say that he came off second best in the divorce deal? That would be fair to say, yes. So, we possibly have a disgruntled ex on our hands left with nothing but the shirt on his back. What's your connection with my father, Mr. Noonan? Look, if you tell me what the problem is, I can help figure out a solution. I have a solution. What about Amy? What'll happen to Amy if you go to jail? You think she'd come visit you there? Hmm? Or maybe she'd be so ashamed she'd just stay away. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know how I would feel. Never being able to see my child. Knowing that they're out there somewhere just forgetting me. Mm. Anyway, we'll catch up with you, Mr. Noonan. It's inevitable. And you got nowhere to run. You got nowhere to hide. Kidnapping, abduction. It's death in this state. You do realize. <laughs> Have you met him? Only over the negotiating table a couple of times. What were your impressions of him? I mean, you know, how did he come across? It was a divorce case. We didn't sit around and sing Kambaya. Yeah, but you knew he'd be here at the marina. He lives on his boat. Which is all you left him with? Ah, oh, you took that too. As I was instructed to do by my client. Well, what line of work is he in? A military photographer. Specializes in war zone images, I think. Which means he's probably a bit of an adrenaline junkie and won't lose his nerve too easily. So, what now? We wait.
to die when and how I say. Yes, <clears throat> I'm fine. What about his ex-wife? What's her name again? Ashley. Ashley Nuna. And where's she now? I don't know. She paid what she owed and uh, that was it. There's been no reason for contact since. Do you know anything about this man? Do they have children? They have a daughter. And who got custody? Mrs. Noonan was awarded 80%. On what ground? On the grounds that he was an absent father most of the time, and uh, she also accused him of drug abuse. 80%, that's steep. And how did he take that? I wouldn't know. My duty of care was to my client. But he could be taking the custody and equity to heart. It's possible. Okay, so during the case, did she offer any information about him, uh, what he was like as a husband, whether he was violent or aggressive? No. She didn't talk about him at all. She had hired me to do a job, and I just did it. A little too well by the looks of things. He may just be bluffing to scare you. Look, Marcus, I've had irate husbands follow me home to the supermarket, to the gym. You know, they yell abuse, they get it out of their system, and then I never see them again. It's a hazard of the job. What have I done? Well, your job for one. You're not to blame for any of this. Now, why don't we get his ex-wife on the phone and find out what we need to know about Sam Lunan? Get her to call me the minute that you hear from her. Thank you. There's my assistant. She's been trying to get Ashley, but she's not answering. It's Toby when she was nine. It was around the time that she got excited about Latin. She found a law book in my home library and fell in love with the language of law. My Latin's a bit rusty, but what's that mean? Specio lulusus, behold the light. It's the first Latin phrase that I ever taught her. I was, um, I was teaching her to stay focused on whatever she wanted in life. We had a boat. Uh, Toby had naming rights. My wife, Helen, and I thought that she would call it uh, Bluebeard or Buttercup. Fairy princess like any other child, but no. She called her Cicero. Cicero? An ancient Roman law is an odd choice for a nine-year-old. He was her hero. She admired his humanistic achievements. She always had this thing about wanting to save the world. Well, Marcus French, here's another thing you don't know about your daughter. You 
have always been Toby's real hero. Bond women five shall follow him and eight of my thralls. Well born are they. Yeah. When is he gonna call? He said he was gonna call. I'm worried he didn't mention a ransom in his last message. <sighs> Should I have called the police? Tim, it's another videogram. Bond women five shall follow him and eight of my thralls. Well born are they. Children with me and mine they were as gifts that quickly his daughter gave. What does that mean? Did you find anything? The website says it's a Norse Viking death rite. They used to build ships in order to launch the chieftain into the afterlife. What about Toby? What's he going to do with her? Tell me. It says that they used to practice human sacrifice, that often they would bury the ship on land, but sometimes they would send the ship out over the sea in flames with people on board. He's gonna burn my daughter alive. You better not be about to do what I think you're about to do. I know this area. I've sailed around here my whole life. But it could be anywhere out there. Going against the wind and the tide, he's still in these waterways. But there are hundreds of islands. Yeah, and very few good anchorages. And then what? 
and I'll karate chop to the neck for pity's sake, Marcus. You are dealing with a psycho. Oh, thank you. Marcus, your flimsy plan will be a hell of a lot less flimsy if you at least have a weapon. Remember those stalking husbands I told you about? Just don't get it, do you? No. Your damn war protests. Brownie points for the idealistic sentiments, little French. Look at you. Look at you. That's you! I photograph courageous men in battle. Men who kiss their wives and children goodbye not knowing if that might be the last time. Men who risk their lives. Men who've died to keep the likes of you safe. Men who've had to kill so that you could wake up each morning in your warm bed without the gripping, gut-wrenching fear that this might be the day that a bomb drops on your house or your family and neighbors are marched out in the dead of night and tortured until they scream for mercy and beg to be finished off. Damn you! You have no idea. How goes it in your comfortable world of black and white, where the biggest decision you get to make all day is whether you have a decaf or chai latte for breakfast? You sicken me, French. This is madness. What if he gets you too? Well, at least I'll be with my daughter. Let's say you didn't have long to live, okay? What would your last message to Daddy be?
Ready? Make it a good one, okay? Dad, I spit your looks luches. What the hell was that? That was it. That was it? Yeah. Was that like, boo hoo, daddy, come get me? Mm hmm. That's exactly what it was. This unpleasantness could have been avoided. Because what it boils down to is basic human decency. And what would you know about that? Okay, I'm here. Okay, I want you to buzz security, and then I want you to hold the phone up to the camera so as he can see me. The night guard's name is Frank. He knows me. Right. Hang on. Security. Hi, uh, I'm Rowena Sullivan. I'm a colleague of Marcus French, and he needs to speak with you. Hi, Frank. It's Marcus French. Frank, this is a friend of mine, Rowena Sullivan. Can you open the door and let her in, please? I'll be downstairs. You need me, press one on the phone to get the security desk. Thanks, Frank. I won't be long. OK, I'm in your office. What am I looking for, and where am I looking for it? In my bookshelf uh, is a book called the East Coast Navigation Code Book. Ah, got it. Yeah, somewhere inside is a list of all the beacon codes for the coastline. At the back is a table listing all the navigation beacon codes for the east coast. I'm looking for short, short, long. Ah, oh, here it is. Short, short, long, Whaler's Cove beacon. The beacon's at Whaler's Cove.
possessed! We had a good time, didn't we? It's a pity Daddy couldn't make it. But you know, people you love, they just let you down. Don't they? <laughs> Don't they? You coward. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I think by now, Daddy's really learned what it's like to have something precious taken away. <laughs> Drop the knife. Dad? Toby, you hurt? No. Step away. Drop the knife. Daddy to the risk. Shut up. Is that you, Marcus? Drop the knife. How you doing? Hey, Marcus. Shut up. Do me a favor. Pull the trigger. Huh? What are you waiting for? You want to, don't you? Come on. Do it. Shut up. Shoot me. Shut up. Shoot me. Drop the knife. Do it. Drop the knife. Do it. Come on, you can do Drop it. Drop the what knife. You, I want you to shoot me. Shoot me! I want you to shoot me! Ah! 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 Get off of him! Ah! Get off! Get away from me! Hey, get away from me! What do you want from him? He took everything from me! Everything! I want him to suffer. I want I have nothing left! I... I spent seven months in that hellhole. I couldn't wait to get home. It was Thanksgiving Day, 2008. I came home earlier than expected. All I wanted was to be back with my family. Hey, sweetheart! How's my big girl? I am the Undergaven Joe. Oh, yes, you are. Are you surprised? Well, look, I wanted to surprise my two most special, most beautiful girls in the whole wide world. Are you looking after Dave and Carla today? Sam. Uh-huh. Welcome home. Thanks, Dave. It's good to be here. Good to see you, Sam. You too, Carla. The girls went at home, so I figured they'd be on the boat. Here's one. Where's the other? Ah, uh, yeah, look, Ashley went out for a couple of hours with some friends. She asked us to take Amy for a few hours. Okay, did she say where she was heading? They'll be back soon. Why don't you take Amy home and wait there? Mommy said she's just going down the little channel. Really? Well, she shouldn't be too hard to find, should she? So... Are you gonna tell her what happened next? Or will I? Ashley.
Thanksgiving 2008. That was the did. Is that where you were the day Mom died? Tell her, Daddy. Is it true? Yes, it's true. It's true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my God. Oh, but you, you said you were with a client. Oh, yeah. He was with a client, all right. Toby. Toby. I... I... Can you imagine wildest nightmares? What it's like to come home from war, to find the divorce lawyer hired by your wife without your knowledge. He's banging her. I'm sorry. Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! It's funny. You were a little sorry before today. I loved her. I loved her with every inch of my heart and soul. Since we were 19 years old. Look at you, old man. What the hell did she see in you anyway? Tell me, please. I'm sorry. And your daughter calls me a coward. Tell me, don't listen to him. Please. Don't listen to him, Toby. Toby. Don't... You see? Your own father has lied to you. All this time, he's lied to you about where he was that day. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Thank you for calling Marcus French of French and Doyle. I'm unable to call at the moment, but if you leave your name and number after the beginning. You. you needed him to be there. You needed him to be by your side. Holding your mother's hand. While she died. She called out for him, didn't she? She asked for him, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. But he wasn't there. Make him pay, Toby, your father. He was there. He betrayed you. No, Toby. Toby, don't listen to him. He betrayed you. Toby, don't listen to him. Please. Toby, he's lying. I can explain everything. Please, Toby. Do it, Toby. It's not what you think, Toby. Please. Do it. I know our problems will be over. No. We can go home. Yeah. No, Toby. No. Yeah. No, Toby. Toby, you don't want to kill me. Toby! What have you done to her? Toby, no. He had his chance. All his time. Toby, please. You don't want to kill me, Toby. Behold the light. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, come on, Toby. You okay? Come on. Nice work, little French. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! What's he doing? All I know is he's out of his mind. Gotta get off this boat somehow. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Ah! 
markets? You got a light? Huh? Yeah? Oh, ho, ho! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Here, leave her! She knew nothing, you can at least see that. I'll stay, that's what you want, isn't it? Let her go. Kitty, and give up this tasty two for the price of one deal. Don't move, old man, or she goes overboard. She'll be shocked, baby, but you can blink. That's right. Drown or burn. You choose. Ah! Ah! On a good day, he's born. That great sword lord who has a heart like his. Ah! be told on earth, and then we'll speak of his mind! <laughs> Dad? Dad, come on, we have to keep moving. Come on. Come on. Put your arm around me. I'm gonna help you. Okay, on three. One. Two. Three. Come on! No, Toby, no! Yes, I you can! I can't! Yes, you can! No, Toby, I can't, please! Listen to me. Marcus French is made of molten steel. Marcus French is invincible. Oh, Marcus French is heart sick of what he's done to his daughter. No, I can't, Toby. Listen to me. Listen. Please. You can tell me later. No, you can no. Tell me later. Now. I know, I couldn't bear to see the love of my life fading away before my eyes. I know, you so, so wanted it to stop and just go away. But 
Being with... Being with someone else, it... It just distracted me, that's all. I could pretend that... Maybe it wasn't happening, maybe... Maybe I wasn't really losing one of the two women in my life that I truly loved. And maybe I might not have that long left on the clock. Toby, so... Don't say no, that. no, no. Don't Toby, say... listen. I need you to know that I am deeply, deeply sorry. I'm gonna get you help. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go and get the boat. And I'm gonna come back. to be here. How could you? How could you kill your own daughter? No, no. She was just a little girl. How could you? No, no, no. No, my baby girl. Amy, hurry, your father has to go. Well, these are great for a six-year-old. Father's Day. Well, it is a very happy Daddy's Day because I get to spend it with my favorite bike bike princess. Hey, honey. Here you go. Okay, let's go. Sam. Yeah, what? Back at three. Remember? Yeah, I know. I mean it. Not 3.30, not 3.10, three. Back off, Ashley. You're allowed seven hours, Sam. And if you're late again, I'm applying to block your access. Coming, Daddy? Sure, sweetie. Let's go.
Viking princess married her Viking prince. Because he had such a great DVD collection. <laughs> and uh, they lived happily ever after. So, why did Mrs. Farley lose her temper? Because Joy threw a spitball at the back of her head. Well, no wonder she was Mrs. Cranky Pan. <laughs> Amy. Amy. Amy, Amy, did you hear me? Empty your songs, fill the 